All right, welcome everyone. My name is Peter, and I am joining you here today for another episode of Muji Monday. But today, it's a little bit different than the first episode because we're taking it up a notch to Muji Mania Monday, all right? Yeah, it's a little bit crazier. You may remember from last episode, this pen, the Muji Aluminum Fountain Pen, which I uh, reviewed and I enjoyed immensely. Since then, I have fallen in love with Muji products a little bit and I am going to show you a number of Muji things, uh, a Muji haul, if you will. And no, unfortunately, none of this was sent to me for free. I don't think Muji even knows who I am, unfortunately. Um, good money was paid for all of this. I will say that some of this was sent to me by someone very special to me who uh, went to Japan even and went to an actual Muji store and pulled some of this stuff off the shelves and brought it back to the United States for me. Very cool. Thank you. First things first, however, I will say that this jacket right here is actually a Muji jacket. All right, item number one. This is the men's quick drying stretch jacket. What do you think? Pretty nice, right? It's like, uh, it's very thin, all right? I enjoy that for the hotter days when you need, still need to wear a blazer or something. It's got a very nice, uh, like, I like the breast pocket is what I'm saying. It's like a very discreet slit right here, very minimalistic along, you know, that goes with the Muji kind of uh, philosophy, I guess. It's very cool though. No, oh, oh, there's even another one here I never noticed with a zipper. Well, I can keep all sorts of stuff in here. All right, and also this shirt. That's right, this is the Men Organic Xinjiang cotton non-iron stripe shirt or something like that uh, Which you'll notice it goes all the way down to my wrists inside of my jacket sleeve. So we've got sleeves within sleeves here Muji within Muji I have one button here. I haven't done up because I'm not wearing a tie But I mean that's an option always if you're interested in such things uh, But no, I'm very happy with it uh Let's move on now to some things that aren't garments by Muji. Very cool though, as you see, they make a wide variety of things and so far I like all of them. They're just fun to touch. I'm very touch oriented, I like touching things. Here's an item that can go with my garments, however. This one was picked out in Japan. A stainless steel pen holder. It says for one pen. Now I guess I can, uh, so I can put this right here. Very nice. And then, now let's see if we have some Muji pens we can use this with. It turns out we do. Another Muji pen. This is the, oh, it's actually a mechanical pencil. The 0 0.5 millimeter mechanical pen. Wait, no, it's a pen. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show, show you two at the same time. One of these is, uh, wait a second. No, this one is a pencil. They look very similar. This one is a pen. It's like a ballpoint pen. It says needle point pen. This one is a mechanical pencil and it says mechanical pen. Do you think there's just some sort of like lost in translation thing going on here? I'm not sure. Um, to try these out, let's look at some Muji stationery. Here's one thing, uh, it says five millimeter note. Uh, I like it a lot. It's just, all these things, they're just great to feel. They're very, uh, like they're very papery. Like there's not a lot of plastic feel to it. You know what I mean? This one is a special grid paper notebook. I mean, you can get these by other companies too, but Nice paper. 
Made in Japan, it says. Actually, I don't want to write in this one. I'm too intimidated by the uh, the graph paper. I'm a little bit intimidated by graph paper. It's like a little too rigid, a little too structured. <sighs> like back up. I'm I'm used to very clear, empty paper. Right. Here's another thing. It says cotton paper memo. Now, if anyone um, can read these Japanese characters, or um, are, is this Japanese also? This looks much more busy. Um, and it says something different than cotton paper or memo. Is this, it might be, I don't know how well translated this stuff is. Um, but as you can see here, uh, underneath this semi-transparent, was there a word for that? Translucent sheet right here. See, it's lined like this. Now, I don't know, some of these languages they do it can be written vertically up and down, right? So do you think maybe it's supposed to be held like this and you take notes up and down? Like... That's very cool. But also, for us, uh, you know, people who write left to right, I mean, right to left, I feel like there was another video in which I got my left to rights mixed up and people were very frustrated watching. I think it was the one with the automatic laser pen printer or whatever it was called. Um, anyways... I'm just saying that it tends to be a, it's something that's happened to me before. It's still very a, a very cool format, a wide like a widescreen format, right? Also, this paper feels very good, and I like how it's a little bit see through, just very dainty. I like how you can see through the front sheet a little bit. Just everything about it is very very wholesome, and it. Like I said, I know I keep harping on this, but it feels very good. I don't want to write in that one either, though. Once again, the format uh, is a little bit intimidating. Here we have another one. Notepad memo book, it says. Once again, a uh, very different like aspect ratio than I'm used to with most of my notebooks and sketchbooks. This one has a clear plastic front front cover. Very cool. I like that. Peel that back. And then it's got a bunch of these little kind of thumbnail squares. Now, I don't know what these are intended for, but they're very intriguing to me because lately in my sketchbook, I don't know if you've seen some of my uh, sketchbook pages I posted on Instagram and stuff, but I've been doing a lot of these little thumbnail sketches just of like shapes and uh, little ideas and stuff. I've been getting really into that lately, which is something I haven't done before, uh, but this could be very useful for that. I'm very intrigued. I want to do that some more later. Related to this notebook is this notebook. Bigger, badder, better. It says, note, body, paper, made in Japan, Muji. Now, I know with like manga and stuff like that, you're supposed to start here and flip through this way, right? This is the, is this, so I'm, what I'm asking, is this actually considered the front cover here? And then I'm supposed to flip through this way? Or is it okay if I consider this the front cover and this little tag is on the back? Anyways. I could still use it the same way, either way. What we've got here is more little rectangles, little thumbnail squares. Does anyone know if these are intended for something other than what I want to use them for, which is doing little square sketches? Maybe I'll do a bunch of these on stream sometime, I mean, on, on video sometime. By the way, do follow me on Twitch. I've been streaming every now and then. There's a link in the description. Follow me there. Come say hi. We can chat in real time. I like these though. This is very thin. This is almost like newsprint. So I probably wouldn't want to use ink on these because it would uh, bleed through, show through. But we do have, uh, I know I haven't, I haven't tested out these pencils yet. I mean, these pens here. Um, I don't, I'm not like mentally prepared for doing these little thumbnails right now. I'm just not, okay. I have to like get in a groove to do that. Um, Okay, like you can already see it in the video a little bit. All right, we have two more very cool pencils, but first I have to find a sketchbook to test these in. Um, 
Okay, I'm getting all out of order. We have a lot of stuff here. Okay, first this one. Isn't this stuff just, I love the aesthetic. Once again, it just says note. I'd love to know what all this stuff says. It's like all this stuff. Have you seen that movie, Lost in Translation, where Bill Murray is doing the whiskey commercial and then the Japanese director is saying all this stuff very passionately to him about how to act in the commercial? And then the translator just says, more intensity or whatever like that. Like I feel like all of this is being funneled through a poor translator into the word note. Anyways, totally unrelated. This is a nice one. I can maybe... Oh, what does that say? That's cool. Oh, it's like it's like someone already started my sketchbook, you know? It's like I'm a... There is a certain hesitancy I have with starting a new sketchbook, even if it's a little notebook like this, a little notepad. Um, I'm sure a lot of us have felt that before. Okay, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that one either. But, as you already saw, you saw some of these. Um, so this, these note, these three notebooks, I think, didn't come with these envelopes. But the person who sent these to me uh, kept half of these envelopes for themselves, which of course is personal, perfectly fine, because you can, as you can see, you can get little sketchbooks, little notebooks like these, which is just adorable. I love it. It says semi-bleached paper, which I guess is why it's like a little yellowish not completely white. This one is totally unbleached paper, it says. I love just how, I love how these feel, how the outside is identical to the inside. Oh, it's so good. Um, but as you can see, these are perfect for um, writing long letters in. If you want to write something here, and then you can stick it in the envelope. So those are nice. These say, Craft envelope. Muji. So I like these. They just feel nice, of course. I know I keep saying that. I'm gonna keep saying it. And here we have one, which is slightly different. I'm not sure why. This one says pocket note. Now why is this one a pocket note and this one a note? And they seem to be almost essentially uh, the same thing. I mean, there are some subtle differences with the binding, maybe the how firm they are. This one does bend a little easier. Is that why it goes in the pocket and this one doesn't? Oh, this is very smooth paper. Very smooth. Oh. oh I gotta smell some of the other ones though. The pocket note smells a little bit better, just on my first impressions there. What about this one? That smells like newsprint, which is a, not a bad smell at all. Oh. Oh, what about this one? Maybe the best smell in the world is old books. Have you ever flipped through an old book? Oh. I love the smell of old book pages. These two are almost entirely odorless, but my nose is plugged a little bit. That one's a little nicer. Hmm. All right, so I do have to test some of these out and I wanna test them out in a Muji sketchbook. But I don't wanna, you just gotta let go, okay? If you're too attached to making everything that goes into a sketchbook perfect, you'll lock up. It's not good. So we're just going to use this one. I love the the red binding here. Oh. I can't do that page. All right, we'll do it here. First, we'll look at the needle point pen, 0.7 millimeters. Needle point pen, huh? Um, I'm not like a huge fan of ballpoint pens, but this is doing pretty well. Pretty well. Ballpoint. 
pen. Now, I could draw with this. I could, I mean, the thing I like doing with pens like this is like a lot of like little hatching because the lines are so nice and fine and crisp. This is a lot better than a lot of ballpoints I've used. Look at that. That doesn't look bad at all. Plus, it's just a nice pen. It would it goes well with its counterpart, the mechanical pencil, and it pairs well with my original Muji pen. Both, they're both nice aluminum. Let's try out the uh, mechanical pen. I went too far. Mechanical P pencil. Wait, what is this called? Mechanical pen. I wonder why. Uh, yeah. This is very crisp and nice. I don't know why I'm writing in all caps with this, but. nice for scribbling like this, especially on this paper. It's all just working very nice. It feels good. It feels good in your hand. It's nice and cool, at least for now, until my hand warms it up, I guess. All right, I like it. I like it. You know, I'd, I'd like to keep this little, this little tag on here, but I feel like it'll start coming off eventually. It'll look good with or without it, I think. All right, next we have this one, which is a... Okay, okay. These are both mechanical pencils, but one says mechanical pen and one says mechanical pencil. So this one says it's wooden. They're both 0.5 millimeters. Also, what's interesting is that one of them, the wooden one, is a little bit shorter than the other one. What's up with that? Wooden. You like this pencil? Very cool. Very satisfying. We can go a little darker, a little lighter. That's the nice about pencils, you know, the variation depending on how hard you press, etc. Plus it's nice and wooden. All right, finally, well not finally, we have a lot more to go through, is uh, this wooden mechanical pencil mini 0.5 millimeters. Muji. As you can see, it's just tiny. Here it is next to the other one. And uh, really they've just kept on reducing, reducing reduction out of control. Very, can I write the word petite? It feels like it could snap in my hand, right? If I just squeeze a little bit too hard. Cute. But it has the same lead in it as the other one. It's adorable. I think we can all agree on that. Oh, I never put one of these in my uh, in my little clip there. Let's see. Let me try the. Oh, this. By the way, this uh, the pen. It goes in and out like that. I didn't show that action. I'm gonna retract it, and then put it in here. 
the, what is this, the pen holder? How is it supposed to work exactly, I wonder? Is it, do I need to, I feel like that could fall out. Maybe I'll use the, the Muji pen. Hey, that's not bad. What do you think? And it's like always right there. Quick draw. Am I doing it right? It does go in easily, but it's, it feels secure. I don't think it's going to fall out unless someone pulled on it. Maybe it worked better with a pen that was this size, but wasn't quite this heavy. Because the aluminum pen does have a little bit of weight to it. <gasps> Coico Sport? Maybe? It, is. it looks a little weird on the outside, maybe. It's more of a utilitarian thing. Uh, maybe not meant to go with the suit jacket. Uh, Rotring Isograph? Hey, that looks pretty good. The little yellow band is inside. The little metal thing, the little, it's like, it's built like a slinky. Plus it makes like a cool swing sound when you pull it out. Swing. All right, also, for the last of the writing instruments we have to look at today is this uh, highlighter, Muji highlighter, uh, with window. That. Very nice highlighter. Look at that. It's like a futuristic highlighter with, is that what it means? A little windows, that clear spot there? It's very smooth and buttery. Here we just have like a needle point, fine tip. That's pretty cool. Very nice highlighter there. It's all nice and clear. You guys know I'm a sucker for like clear pens and stuff like that. And here we have the pink version, highlighter with window slash pink. Very crisp and vibrant. Pretty, well, pen, ball, point, needle, point, pen. Once again, it's got a fine tip. Hope that shows up as good on video as it does in real life. It's whatever pigment or whatever they've got going on in there is, well, it's really good. So once again, we've got all these sketchbooks, got all these pens and stuff. Check it out, Muji makes a wide variety of things, right? It's beautiful. Uh, but that's not all. We also noticed that they make this little pocket clip that I enjoy. They make this shirt. They make this jacket. Hold on. <sighs> that's right. Another Muji shirt. This is the Men Organic Xinjiang Cotton Flannel Check Shirt. Yeah, I bought this on their website. Actually, I've washed it once or twice now, and it kind of feels like the sleeves are too short now. Did I dry it on the wrong setting or something? I might just do that thing where, does anyone else do this if they have a, like a dress shirt with sleeves that are too short where they just do this, kind of like the, the sleeve roll up? You know, and then it's kind of hard to tell the sleeves got too short. So I don't know if I ordered the wrong size or if it's poorly sized or if like I just dried it wrong and I abused it. And this is what happens when you don't know how to treat your clothes. But that's not all, folks. Um, besides the pens, besides the paper, besides the shirts and the jacket... Did you know that Muji also makes, hold on a second, rice balls? That's right. It looked pretty. I got it. And I will show it to you now. 
Here it is, the Muji rice bowl in all its gorgeous simplicity. Look at that. It's so nice. Look at there. White porcelain rice bowl medium. Approximum diameter 11.5 by 5 centimeters tall, I guess is what that's saying. It's the perfect, perfect size for about, well, a certain number of, how many, how many grains of rice do you think fit in this? Oh, that's how you know it's good. More importantly than how many grains of rice do you think would fit in this is how many chocolate marshmallows do you think would fit in it? That's right, here I have some Muji chocolate marshmallows. Marshmallow with chocolate flavored cream filling. Uh, in this case, they just put the translation right over the Japanese stuff, so I can't really tell if it's correct or not. Not that I really know one way or the other. But as you can see, here is where I have to check my Muji fanboyism at the door a little bit, as I don't know if you can tell, but each one of these chocolate marshmallows is not only in a plastic bag, but also individually plastically wrapped. That's not very eco-friendly. That's not very sustainable. So that's a couple of big thumb, thumbs down from me. Uh, but obviously, despite uh, the regrettable unsustainability and how mean they're being to the earth with all that. We have to test them out, see how they how they are, and how many fit in the little bowl. All of them. As soon as I opened that, I was hit with a wave of chocolate scent. Um... Before I put one in the bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat one. I will say that right off the bat, I notice that they're, they're, it's just a weird consistency. Obviously these aren't normal marshmallows. I mean, I think we all noticed that by now. I can feel the chocolate inside of them. It smells like a marshmallow actually. Are you ready? Look at the inside. That's so weird looking. I did not expect that for some reason. <laughs> I think I should have like heated these up over a campfire first. Maybe they would have been more enjoyable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of felt like I was just eating extremely processed, fluffy plastic, to be honest. I don't actually know what marshmallows are really supposed to be made of, but I feel like these are not made of whatever they're supposed to be made of. They're a semi-convincing alternative of some kind. They're like weirdly hard right here on the ends. I think that's where they were filled with chocolate or something. I don't know how this works. I mean, have you ever seen marshmallows with little tails before? Uh-oh. This one. Having a little bit of trouble. And there we have it, folks. All of the marshmallows fit in or on top of the medium rice bowl. Except for the one I ate, of course, which... I think it would. I would have been able to perch it right there on top if I really needed to. Should I have another one? Just for good measure? I feel like I'm eating some sort of insulation, maybe. With, with chocolate at the middle. These marshmallows are 
probably the worst Muji thing that has ever happened to me. Which means they could still be pretty good, because most of the Muji things that have happened to me are amazing. But these are not amazing. Partly because of all of this. This is probably made from the same stuff as this. All right, all right. <laughs> you might notice that I have put a amount of water in my rice bowl for the final uh, Muji item that I have here to show us today. And it is this face lotion sheet whole, compressed, 20 pieces. So what I think you're supposed to do, unless I'm totally wrong, is take one of these tablets and put it into the water where it absorbs the water and something special happens to it, right? Right, it's like unfolding and absorb. Yeah, yeah, and then I put it on my face and it will rejuvenate my skin or in some other way make me prettier or make me feel better. Make me cuter. Make me feel as cute as I am. <sighs> Let's see what happens. I wasn't able to... Wait, wait, there are directions in English. It says, pour toning water into a container such as the lid of the toning water bottle and insert one mask. Apply toning... What is toning water? Do I have that? Very delicate feeling. It's much thinner than I expected. It's like, this is like someone put a bunch of Elmer's glue on their face and then peeled it all off in one piece. And this is the result. There are parts of this that are supposed to be eye holes. Oh, wait, wait, I'm starting to see it. It's starting to come together. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. How many more of these do I have? 20, I have 19 more. I could see myself doing this for 19 more days. Is there lotion built into this or something? I hope it's okay that I use tap water instead of toning water or whatever it wanted me to use. Do I look pretty yet? I feel prettier already. I can feel the prettiness like seeping from the mask into my skin. <laughs> yeah, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> anyways i mean that's about all that's about all of it for today like i said uh i don't know if i'll be able to make another one of these videos because that was like all my muji stuff at once so unless i get like a bunch more muji stuff or some really cool muji thing i don't know I don't know if I can keep this on for 10 minutes. It's like falling off already. I'm probably moving too much.
Hold still. Hold still. Wait, let me hold up some of the Muji pens so we can make like a, a thumbnail like this. <laughs> there you go. Thumbnail. Oh. Moo. Muji. <laughs> no one will click on my video if I look like this. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my Muji of fandom. Thank you. Okay, goodbye.